The addition property of equality. The addition property basically says that if we have a value a equaling b, that we could then take some other value, let's call that c, and we could add that to both sides. And it would not change the overall value of our equation. So by adding c to both sides, I would still get a plus c equals b plus c, which would still be a true equation. So what, what does that mean for us in terms of solving problems in terms of math? Well, let's look at what that means if we look at it from a number standpoint. So if I was to use this in a math context where I might say solve, and it would give us a basic algebra problem that might say, all right, I have x minus 5 is equal to 12. And I want you to solve for x. OK, well, how do we go about doing that? Well, it's pretty straightforward if we use this addition property of equality because it says, I can now add 5 to both sides of this equation. And what it'll do is basically give us a 0 here. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0 leaving us the x. And on the other side, we get 12 plus 5, which would be 17. And then we now have solved for our unknown. Notice that we kept the sort of the barrier here. That's where we're going to be using our left and our right side when we refer to those later on. All right, so let's look at another one that might be similar to that. So what if I gave you a problem that looked like this? Solve. And let's do negative 3 plus x equal to 7. All right, so we've got the same kind of an issue here where we're trying to still get the x by itself. I've still got to try and figure out what I need to eliminate. So what am I eliminating this time? Well, here's the number we're eliminating. I've got to figure out how to get rid of that negative 3. Well, if I add 3, and I add 3, remember we're talking about left and right side. OK, so what does that do here? Well, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. That drops down our x. There's our barrier, our equal sign. And 7 plus 3 gives me 10. We now know what our solution is to this problem. Now we can use these for more advanced problems later, but that is the basic concept between the addition property of equality and how we use it to solve for equations.